Women in Power in Anglo-Saxon England by Annie and any um, Whitehead. Um, so you get intro, um, part one pioneers, part two the saintly royal family of uh, Kent, part three murder in Mercy and powerful royal daughters, um, serial monogamy, um, Wessex wives and horrors, um, dagger queens and mother-in-laws, Wessex in the 11th century, um, part five, on foreign soil, travel, widowed, widowhood, and living in a shadow fair, but not weak. And um, appendix, the saints call. Um, so you, you you do get an introduction to um, a number of of women, a lot connecting to each other. Probably an obvious. <laughs> um, you get writings and documents mentioned um, to show like timeline and connections to each other. Um, marriages, births, possible plots to get to the throne, uh, reigns and other information. Um, so like part one, P pioneers, uh, uh, abysses and peace waivers in North Cumbria. And this you get like, um, yeah, uh, family tree type of situation so like instead of it being its own little section you got um at the start of this um so the royal house in north cumbria and so you get like information about north cumbria and like um different women in there um so different events and um situations of like the women and what happened at the time that would have influenced them and how they would have influenced those situations so the um, saintly royal family of kent again you get um family tree situation there um so um uh murder and mercy and powerful royal daughters so um you get a decent introduction to the situations and um, these different types of women and what they've gone through and like it's got the typical kind of like textbook setup um, so like you got primary and um, primary imagery and like photographs taken um, of certain places or certain objects on and stuff of coin. Um, coin reserve replica of author's own collection. Um, so acknowledging that some sources aren't um, complete or available to know what exactly has happened. Um, and then mention and like mentioning how like these sources linked into like um, that family or those women's lives. Um, it's good for those who are doing reports on like women or the An Anglo-Saxon time or certain um, families. Um, so you'll get certain sections that you could use off uh, of if you're just doing certain families. Um, it's not uh, woman specific so um, it may give mentions to women, uh, um, to certain women for, if you're looking for that. So, um, but, um, it's more of like a circle slash family of like different women. Um, but it is a decent, it is a decent, um, introductory to either like the women or the Anglo-Saxon period. So if you're, um, have interest in either, um, one, this could be a great um, book to look into of introductory type of information. So yeah, Women of Power in Anglo-Saxon England, happy readings.